Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomizer playthrough. This is part 27. We are here uh, at the bottom of the building, which we just fell out of and uh, died in, which is it was a crazy end to last episode, to say the least. And we had ourselves one incredible fight against uh, Zap Multicuno. That's the name that's going to be hard to forget for a while. Um, and with that, our team survived thanks to the almighty bulk of Luo and a ton of potions. Turns out... That Pokemon that we went up against is actually uh, a full custom built stat spread. Uh, so it has like base 255 HP, like 100 special attack, ridiculous defenses, which is why it felt like so much of a raid boss to take down, to be honest. And it's why it was such a good thing that we had our own like mini boss in a way with Lua. So I did go ahead, uh, have a look at that while I was looking up to see if it was available to catch anywhere in the game. Turns out it is available to catch in the game, meaning we could potentially find it later on, but keep in mind, this is a randomizer, so that means if it's in the pool table to be picked up in the randomizer, that means we could encounter it again in like, for example, the next gym. That could happen. Uh, if it can be picked up out of the uh, pool anyway, I don't know exactly how it works. I'm pretty sure that all the custom battlers might be in like their own special section uh, that they get pulled from when they need to battle, but I have a hope that we can find one, I suppose? We'll see. You there, wanna buy something? What would you like to do? Do I wanna buy something? What are you selling, my dude? The Mankey Paw? The paw of Mankey that is said to bring good fortune. It sells for a high price. Apparently, Surf trying to sell it to me for 19k. I don't know, I... My fortune feels... feels okay. I feel okay. Psychic types just can't compete against war types. Is that... Is that true? I also just realized I'm going into the side gym. Uh... Oh, this gym was retyped because of the randomizer. I didn't even think about that. I just thought of them all as random trainers. I didn't think of them as an actual new typing. Oh, that's awesome. Yo, champ of the making Sabrina's Pokemon use water power instead of force. Uh, okay. Like a water wheel to turn things? That's that's kind of smart. I like the way she's thinking. You have to use good strategies or your Pokemon will get creamed before they can even aim a punch. Take this. Fresh water? Is this what I'm gonna practice on? Is this what my training dummy? Do I have to get my Pokemon to attack the water? Got it. Okay. Thank you, my dude. What just pinged? If I hit the FN key on my keyboard by accident, I get a ping? Alright game, sure, sure thing, if that's what you want to do. Sabrina is young, but she is also our leader, you won't reach her easily. Uh, you're right, I won't, because to be honest, I'm going to be lost in here for a while, so, we'll see. King Dose. Wait. Is that a speed up button? Wait! <laughs> How did I not know about this? Who hits that key? Who hits an FN key? Okay, alright, you know what? Sure, sure, we learned something today. This is fine. Uh, we're gonna go into Nine War against the Kingmans, or Seamans, or whatever it was. <laughs> Seamans. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't like the Pokemon. Oh, wait. Oh, the name was kind of entertaining, but the Pokemon is terrifying. Oh god, no. Um, Moonblast is neutral. Are you trying to tell me that a Salamence doesn't necessarily take its Dragon typing, and it's actually taking the Flying typing? Oh my god, it is! I had no reason to even swap out. Well, okay, Salamence doesn't make it a Dragon type. Uh, I don't know why it would, but for some reason in my mind, I just went... Salamence is a Dragon. It's gonna be a Dragon. Nice and simple. No reason to overthink it. Uh, I should have overfought it. Uh, Star Soul, on the other hand, I kind of like it. Other than the fact that his feet look stupid, I kind of like it. You know? Setting up that light screen, but sadly he's going to get punched in his uh, gem-filled face. Yeah. Unfortunate. But a, a screen isn't going to help you when Chubby Cheeks McGee is punching you in the face. That's the uh, nickname, by the way. 
It's a terrible nickname still. There used to be two Pokemon gyms in Saffron. The Psychic Dojo next door lost its gym stats when we went and creamed them. Wow, rude. Okay, you went and creamed them. Oh no, I get three choices here. What's the other way to go to? I have six choices right here of where I want to go. Ooh, a double battle. You know that power alone isn't enough. Does our unseen power scare you? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. A little bit. A little bit. You know, if they can tell that the other person is, you know, thinking about making cupcakes, and therefore they go, I'm gonna go and yoink their cupcakes as soon as they're done baking, that's a power move, okay? And I respect it, and I'm pretty scared of that. Uh, that Cloy total is terrifying. And, to be honest, Horduck isn't any better. <laughs> God, Horduck, that name. Okay, first semen, so now Horduck. Okay, game. Alright, <laughs> sure thing. Uh, we're just gonna go for a Psychic on the Cloytol. I know it's not a poison type, it always takes its, uh... It's Ghost Typing with Ghastly, but still. Oh, Ghastly? Why did I say Ghastly? Why did I say Poison and Ghastly? That's a Cloyster. My brain thought that was a Ghastly. Wow, okay, alright, I am, uh... I'm doing well today. <laughs> <laughs> Doing well today. I've got no idea what any Pokemon is, uh, but we have funny names, and that's all that matters. Cloytol does go down. Did have some rather large purple legs, and you know... Sure. Sure. Why not? I never foresaw this. Psychic Pokemon fear only ghosts, bugs, and dark-type Pokemon. Uh... Oh. Well, we made it here a lot quicker than I thought. Um, <laughs> I, I was very prepared to be lost in here for a while. Uh, that means we might miss out on some trainers. I don't want to miss out on trainers. That's the worst. Can I remember my way back, though? Probably. Ask her. Let's just do the fight. Um, we're gonna lead with, assuming water types, we're gonna lead with Amphitair, as that's a nice and relaxing electric type, should make things nice and easy for us. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had water powers since I was a child. Waterbender? I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I see. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. We'll use four Pokemon for our battle, choose carefully. Uh, Amphitair, yes. Rhinine technically is good. Uh, Esleon is good because it resists water, and Luo is an unstoppable force, so absolutely. That was a very easy choice this time. Sabrina, the water type gym leader. Says that Goltops. <laughs> oh god. Why don't I hate it? I actually like it. Um, that's a problem. I shouldn't like this, but I do. I like the fact that Goldeen's wavy thing behind it is like a cape, you know? It's almost like white fire, in a way. I know this is a water-type Pokémon, and it's the complete opposite of what I should be thinking about it, but I imagine it's got, like, feet clothed in white flames with this, like, fiery white smoke cape coming out behind it. That's a pretty cool design. I like it. Also, Goldeen has a horn, and horns are just added power. Uh, they're just extra attacks at, why not? And Polly Clang. What on earth is this gonna look like? I'm interested. <laughs> He's been absorbed. <laughs> Let him go. He didn't deserve this. <laughs> oh, this poor thing. Oh, and you belly drum. Never mind, not a poor thing. Nope, nope. Gotta go. Gotta die. Gotta get bopped. Yep. Deserved. Level 46, keep in mind. That is a reasonable level. I'll send in Rail- Railigator? Rail? Or is it Railigator? Therefore Raikou. Raikou for Alligator? That's pretty scary, I'm gonna be honest. That's pretty scary. Esleon, you are a tank. You are gonna come in here and bop this thing. I believe. Or at least do some very serious damage. I just brought in my water type against an electric type. I am not thinking straight. But you know what? I still believe. Crunch. Oh. 
Oh, that's damage. Stop that. That does not do enough damage for me to be happy with this. I kind of want to keep this around, but also, do we need Esleon? Do we need Esleon? I mean, Luo takes a lot of damage from a crunch. Rhino takes a lot of damage from any water-type attack. Amphitair, to be honest, is is decent, but it's not going to survive two water-type attacks, that's for certain. Uh, I think we let this thing go, and I just Aqua Jet for damage. I accept defeat. That was very little damage. The crunch is going to finish it off. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't think Rhino is going to be able to finish it with just a Thunderbolt. However... Does Feraligaia even get any decent water type moves? It's gonna go back into Amphitair. I don't remember Feraligaia's moveset, but I know it's not particularly good. Uh, we're just gonna find a bunch. This is a max potion. That's a pain. That's a real pain. That's actually the same damage as what the Psychic did, basically, so. A crunch is resisted and not stabbed, so that's a huge benefit to us. You're gonna get mopped in your face. Let me punch you in your face a couple more times and we'll get through this. No more potions. Okay, fine. You're just letting your Pokemon get punched in the face. That's all that's happening from this. You're rude. Oh, we, we knocked a tooth out with that one. That's powerful. It's gonna bite us, but we have to chub your cheeks, meaning that bite isn't effective because we bite stronger. Uh, you, you're not gonna be the master of munching. Okay, that's just not gonna happen. Trying to learn Payback. It's physical. And if we attack second, that is stronger than Dark Pulse. So it does make it better, however, it requires us to attack second. Which, to be honest, we are going to attack second in a lot of situations. We are a slow, fat, chunky boy. And you know, that's a good thing. So I think we're actually going to take Payback. I just don't like the idea of outspeeding with Payback, but we have a stronger physical attack anyways that kind of mitigates it a bit, even if that does happen. And we have Pollux last. I'm just going to keep Ampai Terra in, because it's done so much work already. And that is, honestly, not my least favorite thing in the world, purely because it looks like a shiny Rolls behind it. You know, it looks like a Politoed trying to, like, shuffle in the way of a shiny Rolls, which is kind of cute. Uh, but you're going to get fun punched and give up. Yep. Amphitan, definitely the MVP of this match. Okay. Uh, I, why did I bring any other Pokemon? To be honest, I didn't need any other Pokemon. The Marsh Badge will allow you to purchase an unlimited number of Wonder Trades. That's basically all I've been doing in Pokemon Shield, to be honest. Just trying to fill out my Pokedex by just Wonder Trading all day long. Uh, by the way, I am not going to be doing a playthrough of Pokemon Sword and Shield. That's not necessarily because I don't want to, it's just I don't own a capture card, and capture cards are expensive. So, I can't do it even if I wanted to. And I'm sorry for that, but... I'm broke, <laughs> to put it simply. And I can't do that. Uh, however, do we want to go and win the trade right now? What do we have that we don't necessarily want? So I'll go and go and the trade right now. Sure, why not? Uh, we have- these are all the Pokemon I want to keep. Like Hitmontop, Lapras. I think Lapras is gonna have some great fusions. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with these yet. Uh, I have no idea. All I know at the moment is I want to put Gengar with Clefable. That's basically all I've got at the moment, and that means that we put Houndoom with something else, but honestly, I don't know what. Who do we want to trade? Maybe just like... Who can we get more of so easily? I mean, Magikarp. I did say I was going to do a Magikarp gym at the moment. I don't actually know if that's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I made such a big deal of it. And yet, to be honest, I'm just too lazy to train up a whole bunch of Magikarps. It seems like such a pain to do. Maybe. Maybe for Cinnabar. But training, training takes time. You're allowed to make eight more Wonder Trades before you get a new badge. I thought it was Unlimited. What happened to Unlimited? Oh, I can buy more tickets now. Is that why it's unlimited? Gotcha. Uh, either way, we have eight Wonder Trades. I will happily go and do eight Wonder Trades, okay? Bye, Magikarp. It was nice knowing you, but you are gone. I don't know if these, like, take from a specific pool so that you can only get specific Wonder Trade Pokemon or if they are just completely random. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it's levitating on the power of its own fart. That's amazing. 
It's a power move. You have to wait a little bit before you're allowed to make a new one trade. Okay, thank you for the levitating fart, Mon. That's great. Wow, I'm sure glad I did that. Although, to be honest, I can unsplice this with the DNA splices and have two Pokemon trading away one. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, for right now, though, where are we going to go? What is our aim now? As for the story, Team Rocket is defeated, and that's all good and all. Uh, however, that does leave me with the question of, do we now head to Cinnabar? I suppose we do have Surf, meaning it's time to go to the Seafoam Islands. First things first, though, I want to check south of Pallet Town. Because there's that little patch of grass under there, and I'm curious what's hiding there. Because normally you get, like, Tangler there. Maybe, uh, maybe there's a different kind of exclusive Pokemon hiding over here. Who knows? For now, we're going to surf. And we're going to find out what's been hiding here all along. We've also got an item. A Moonstone. Okay. Okay. Not a bad thing to have if we want to evolve uh, a specific Pokemon, I suppose. Clefsy. It's still following me. Still. After all this time, this Clefsy will not give up. It's actually incredible. I kind of respect it. You know, it's, it's really stuck around. Ooh. I do like that look. That that does fit really well, especially because of coughing, having like the skull and crossbones. It just it works so well. It looks like such a deadly Pokemon. In reality, it's really weak, but it looks like such a deadly Pokemon. More Clefsy. Okay, we'll go with one more just to see if there's anything else rare here. Obviously, if there is something rare here, there's a chance I might not find it because I might have to wait here for like 20 minutes just running back and forth to find it. But I don't want to spend 20 minutes just picking out Clefsy, because that'd be boring. So let's go ahead. Do we surf down to Cinnabar, or do we want to go through Seafoam Islands? Let's just surf down to Cinnabar. Why not? We'll take the, the cheap way. May as well. Right, what do we have in the water, though? XP. That's what those are. Those are big balls of XP. And they're wonderful. They're actually great. Uh, they're the reason why, to be honest, the Magic Camp Dream might come true, now that I've remembered that as they are worth so much. They're worth a good couple of thousand XP each. Rapid Trap. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I think I kind of preferred Goldeen's <laughs> attempt at having fire behind it, even though it wasn't fire. Um, but I feel like that looked bad. Landing all these Fury Attacks. Okay, calm down, hit five times and got a crit on one of them. Calm down a little bit. I don't know why I didn't surf before. That would have made sense. But as I said before, nothing's making sense today, because I am here to make mistakes. Beerion. <laughs> the alcoholic evolution. Okay. What is Beerion? Beerion. We found it. We found the alcoholic evolution. Beautiful. Uh, it could also be Beerion, but that's boring, and Beerion is more funny. <laughs> um, honestly, I would like a new evolution. However, while a lot of people do want like a Steel-type evolution, or a Bug-type evolution, I don't want those. I want a Dragon-type evolution, and that, one, that needs to be the final evolution, because that way it keeps true to that like one super stupid rule that they have where all the evolutions evolve into Pokemon that in the old games had special attacking moves. So like water was only a special attacking type. There's a hole in generation one and all of the evolutions kind of fit to that where they're all the special attacking types. Dragon! Dragon I think should be in there. I don't actually remember if Dragon was special or physical to be honest because anytime I had a Dragonite in gen one, let's be honest, I was using Rap and Thunder Wave because that was broken. But I think, I think a Dragon-type evolution would be super cool. Absolutely. Maybe even dual-type evolutions. Can you imagine the possibilities? Eevee has so many possibilities to come. Imagine if they start bringing out, like, mixed typings of, like, fire and grass, fire and water, fire and electric. You get the idea. That'd be... Well, that's a scary thought. <laughs> that's actually a very scary thought. Tail is off the screen. It's too powerful. I'm done. GG, we lose him. No way we're gonna beat this. Nasty plot, stop. 
Stop that, that's scary. You stop that right now. We're gonna get flamethrower burn, and you're gonna get bopped to it, and it's gonna be great. Or a crit, or something. That's unfortunate. You just get to stop it. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Please have speed. Oh, thank god. Okay. I thought we might have been swept right there, to be honest. That is a scary Pokemon. I've actually got another on this wind boost. That'd be absolutely awful, to be honest. Uh, we beat the scary Raichu. There is a castle here, which I obviously have to destroy, because... <laughs> One of these fishermen probably made that in their just spare time while they were waiting to catch fish. Oh, now I feel bad. Um, Kaku works really, really well. Scarily well. That's such a good fitting face on Staryu, which is strange, because Staryu doesn't have a face. So why does a face fix it? Did it have its face ripped off and replaced with, I need that. I need that. I need that. That's what I need. Absolutely. I need that. That's going on the Magikarp squad if I can find a golem. Absolutely. In fact, we don't even have to find a golem because trade evolutions work for level up. I need one of those. That is terrifying. Um, Goldeen, again, is scaring me with its overwhelmingly strong fire feet. I don't know why I think I look like fire, but I really do. Horn Drill! Oh, okay. Um, I should have took the Mankey Paw for good fortune, huh? Okay, alright, I'll remember that in future. I'll go back and grab a Mankey Paw. Uh, that way that won't happen, I guess. That was awful. But Thunderbolt should do good damage. Um, don't Horn Drill. Okay, we one-shot, that's fine. If that obviously did not have the special defense of Alluvia, because that, that was a nice, um, powerful one-shot. I was just angry that I couldn't catch anything. Here, take this. I found it earlier. Oh, a pearl. Okay. All right. Sure. Beat me a Pokemon. Here, have these. We've got some netballs. All right. I need to go back and speak to some people. These people don't just want rematches. This dude will, because he's making me go out of my way to go and speak to him. See? Yep. That's just how it works, huh? We want to know if the fish are biting. Not really. I want to know if you're going to make a sandcastle I can kick it over, because that's entertaining. <laughs> Led cute. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That looks like a parasite. That is an absolute parasite. That needs to be burned. What would Paris look like with execute? Actually, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I never want to know. That doesn't- that's never gonna exist, okay? It's not gonna exist. I'm sorry. I take it back. That has to be the worst looking thing in existence. Aerotile? Ooh, wait. Do a septile. Am I right in thinking we have an Aerodactyl? Do I have that right? Did we get the old Amber? I don't remember. I know we got Omastar and Kabuto. Well, Omanite and Kabuto. Um, I don't remember if we got Aerodactyl. But, one thing's for certain, I'm gonna go back and check as soon as we get to the next town. Once we get to Cinnabar, I am absolutely checking for that. Because you best believe that was a cool looking fusion. Septile already failed when I tried to fuse it with, um, Sizzle. That didn't have anything cool, but... I will happily go ahead and try an Aerodactyl. Uh, that Earthring is flying due to pure hatred. Its hatred to the world is has made it spawn wings out of its tiny, tiny body. But I'm not entirely sure what happened. Maybe it was like an Earthring made out of Play-Doh or something. That's awful. That... No. No. Why you gotta do that to Leafeon, huh? Why you gotta do that to Leafeon? Leafeon didn't deserve that. To be honest, Wigglytuff didn't deserve that. No one needed to see that. <laughs> 
Swimmage Rome has been defeated. Do you give me anything cool? I felt a large Pokemon beneath my feet. Do I have Dive? I don't have Dive. I definitely don't have Dive. Sandcastle kick. <laughs> uh, I'm easily amused sometimes. <laughs> That's all it takes. Ah, feel the sun and wind. Okay. Can do. Victory Road. Oh. Tails off the screen. This happens a lot, actually. Maybe it's not that powerful. I'm starting to have second doubts. Also, Victory Bell's mouth has shrunk incredibly. But then again, birds don't need to eat that much because they have smaller bodies. From an evolutionary standpoint, that kind of makes sense. However, I don't like it. You're going to Cinnabar Island? Take this, then it might come in handy. A burn heal? You know? That's that's fair. That's fair. We got ourselves a black sludge. Uh, which, to be honest, we don't really have any use for at the moment. I mean, I guess we could put it on... Poundgar, or maybe like the Clefairy? Neither of those are going to be poison type, but... Even if we unfuse Houndgar and put it as the Clefairy, I think it's still going to be Ghost and Fairy type, actually. Which is a cool typing. And I'm happy about it, but it won't benefit from Black Sludge. Oh! Tough Tails! I don't like these Tails Pokemon that don't have Tails. It's like the opposite of the power I was talking about. It's, it's completely had its power removed. That's awful. Oh, Cinnabar Island is huge! Compared to normal, at least. Do we have an Aerodactyl? I need to know. I don't remember. I hope we do. We don't, do we? I don't think we do. That sucks. I have Graveler, though. You go sit next to this magic harp real quick. You just you just go there and sit next to that. Um, Dunkor. And there's definitely not an Aerodactyl in here. That is unfortunate. However, we know for a fact that when we got the fossils before, they were what the fossils were. Meaning they're not randomized. Earth power, yes! Luo can learn Earth power? We need fly, but do we need Brave Bird? I feel like Earth Power is so- do we need Giga Impact if we have Earth Power for coverage? Doesn't that then give us like good enough coverage for anything? Plus Giga Impact wastes a turn and I really don't like that. It's useful at the end of a match, but only at the end of a match, or before they send out the next Pokemon. Which I guess is still kind of useful. But Brave Bird is also stupidly powerful. So if I need a stupidly powerful move, I can just use Brave Bird. I'm getting rid of Giga Impact. You know, it's not my favorite move to be honest. A little bit like Explosion, it's just got too much of a drawback for me to want to use it properly. Uh, however, Earth Power is just a dang good move. So I will happily take an Earth Power. Next episode, we will go ahead and have ourselves a fight against Blaine, and I will try my absolute hardest to have a full team of Magic Ops. We'll see how that goes. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above everything. Bye.